You will certainly be amazed by the effect of this juice on your natural hair. So make sure you watch to the end to see how to prepare this juice and how to apply it on your hair. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sude Favis Chiwendo and I welcome you to my channel. Here on this channel, I post everything about natural hair, natural hair care, growth, treatment. I also post DIYs videos on hair especially and self-development videos. So if any of this interests you, make sure to stay subscribed, okay? And for my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. So guys, today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make juice from this ginger and onion. This is a mind-blowing recipe for your hair. It will give you a long, thicker, healthy hair. So if you want to see how I did it and you want to try it out for your natural hair, make sure to keep watching. So right now, I'll just go ahead and start getting the onion and ginger ready for use by just peeling off the back. And guys, the best onion to use for your hair is the red one, which is this particular one I am using. So this red onion will give your hair a nourished, dandruff-free, long and lustrous hair. So while I go on peeling the back of the onion and the ginger off, I'll be telling you guys some of the benefits of ginger and garlic for your natural hair. So onion are rich and high in sulfur. Sulfur can stimulate hair growth because it increases the blood flow in your head. It also contains some antibacterial properties which can prevent any scalp infection like dandruff. And onion also help your hair to grow stronger and longer by preventing it from breaking and thinning. And coming to ginger. Ginger is rich in B vitamins like B3, B1 and C which are necessary for hair growth. Therefore, the combination of these two natural ingredients will definitely do your hair a huge favor. And again, don't even be afraid of any side effects because everything we are going to be doing here is 100% natural, okay? So after peeling the back, I just went ahead to wash my ginger and onion very well. You guys can see how neat it is. So I'll start grating my ginger and garlic. Please, if you have a blender, if you can pound, if anything, you just want to extract the juice. So go ahead and use any method that is possible for you. My blender isn't available, so I'll be using the tiniest teeth, as you guys can see, to crush the ginger and the onion. You guys, my light was just giving me what I don't know. It was going on and off like crazy. Like, I wanted to shout for this light today. But guys, I have to do this off camera. Please, you have a blender. Or a powder or a crusher anything please just choose it because this is very stressful this is very very stressful i have to do it off camera please i beg you guys so guys i am done crushing it off camera and right now i'm going to be using my wig cap you guys know this wig cap i'm going to be using it for my sieving you can use a muslin cloth a cheese cloth just anything that you can squeeze anything squeezable so you'll be able to extract you every of your juice please so you guys use a blender if you're doing yours if you're doing this juice use a blender you guys can see how my onion was just looking at me like that i'm going to use this thing for cooking because you guys i cannot just waste it that way just look at how it is but sure i got enough juice for my hair so it's okay i'm just going to start squeezing the juice out as you guys can see look at how yummy that is looking as if i'm going to use it to cook but now it is for my hair so guys, I just make sure that I extracted every of my juice and I just went on ahead to transfer it to this jug that has a funnel-like mouth or something, I don't even know. So I'll be transferring it into this um, spray bottle. I got this in the market. You can get it from any plastic shop or any hair shop actually. So I just went on ahead to transfer my juice into that bottle and it is ready for use. Please, if you want, if you don't want the smell of this onion and ginger to be much, you can use any oil. You can add a little bit of tea tree oil, coconut oil, or rosemary oil. Just any oil that is good, actually good for hair or improves hair growth. Okay. But I'll be using my own juice just the way I made it. I won't be adding any oil because I don't want to get any other effect on my hair because those oils that you'll be adding might have the, in fact, they have their own effect, okay? So I'll just be using this the way I made it without any other oil or any other 
ingredients natural ingredients inside and you guys our juice is ready for use so i just went on ahead to cover the spray bottle very well and i shaked the content just so to mix every everything together okay so right now i'll just start showing you guys how to apply this on your hair so guys i already washed my hair very very well it is very neat at this point and i'm just going to start working my hair into small sections i am doing this because i want this juice to get to every part of my hair and then i went on ahead to start detangling my hair as you guys can see i'm starting to from the tip to detangle so you don't just go ahead cutting your hair start detangling from the tip and before applying any products on your hair please try and detangle it just so your hand can run through all your part all the part of your hair and your scalp very well so after detangling i just went on ahead to start spraying the juice on my scalp and all over my hair just around that part that i've already detangled that i've already worked on and you guys please always massage your scalp even if you're not applying any products on your hair just massage your scalp it helps to increase blood flow in your head and also stimulates hair growth so when i am sure that the juice is all over that section that it is saturated like very well saturated i'll start running my hand all over the hair and i also try to massage my scalp as well especially down my front hair because you guys know this is my greatest target within the six months so after running my hand through the hair and massaging my scalp very well i went on ahead to use butter hair butter to seal the juice in so that it doesn't leave my hair quickly because you guys know that the content you are using on this hair is almost watery like in fact it is very very watery and so if you don't seal it in it might leave your hair within just one hour so i went ahead to use that hair butter to seal it in very well and then i'll just go ahead to put my hair into a protective hairstyle by twisting it i know you guys already understood how to use this juice for your hair so i'll just go ahead and do and do the same use the same procedure all over my hair Hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off I am flawed And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I hate all so guys, I am done applying the juice all over my hair and I've already put my hair into a protective hairstyle as well. So I just went on ahead to massage my hairline, my front hair very very well with the juice. And guys, this feels so good. You guys need to try this out. Always massage your scalp. It actually feels so good and it's healthy for you, okay? So I just went on ahead to pack my hair, like put it into a bun. But if your hair is not that very long, just go ahead and leave it that way and use your nylon. As you guys can see, I'm going to use my nylon right now to cover my hair. And next, I went ahead to use my shower cap to cover my hair as well because I wouldn't want my hair to come in contact with heat until it has absorbed the um, juice, the content in the juice very, very well. So I just went ahead to use my shower cap and cover my hair. And you guys, I was already feeling fulfilled and happy because yeah... I've treated my hair, I've fed my hair, and I am happy, okay? So guys, that's basically all for this video. So if this video was really helpful to you and you found it interesting, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and turn the notification bell on to be notified each time I upload a new video. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!